Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? It is, I'm right here at 7 o'clock. I can't believe it. It's amazing that I made it. My blanket is uh, behind my back. Okay, well, how are y'all doing today? I hope everybody has electricity. We do right now. I don't know how long it will last. I don't know whether some people have it one day, some people don't the next day. I know I was looking on Facebook. There are a lot of people that did and didn't have electricity today. So here in Texas, we are having electricity blackouts because of the extreme cold that we don't even normally have here in Texas. So anyway, hope you had an awesome day. I spent my day prepping for not having electricity. I want to make sure that I got a bath before maybe the water supply went down. And uh, I wanted to make sure that Seth got a bath today. So that's what we did today. I drew water up. Um, did a lot of preparation stuff. I have some backup, like, tiny generators that would probably last a day on backing up phones and stuff. I mean, nothing major that will run my whole house. Um, some of them have lights, though, connected to them, which will be kind of nice. But anyway, I spent my most of my day prepping. I uh, had some frozen chicken. I went ahead and cooked it. So, you know, if we lost electricity, it wouldn't get ruined. So anyway, just uh, probably if I hadn't have done all that stuff, probably would have not had electricity today. So anyway, with that said, um, yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I just didn't get on here yesterday, but I wanted to talk to you about God's perfect love tonight, um, because it is perfect. It is perfect. God's love is perfect, and it is never changes, never wavers is continuous he loves us even when we're doing the things that he doesn't want us to do he still loves us so i just wanted to look up some scriptures tonight about that and um i'm going to do a really quick prayer and i'm just going to sit here I, my hip is really bothering me tonight i don't know whether it's the cold weather or whether it's because i came in here and i sat down for a while i don't know Seems like exercise, I think I have figured it out. I think it's my sciatic nerve. And I don't, the last time I had that, I was pregnant. So it kind of went away uh, after I had my son. But I'm way past that. So I know that doesn't have nothing to do with what's wrong with me. So on my one camera, I have music. Um coming down which is kind of neat and uh, I really need to find like some visual effects to do on this one too just think it's kind of fun um, right now it looks like I have music notes in my hair and coming in front of my face the other night I did uh, snowflakes anyway I love music everybody that knows me knows that I love music I have on my really thin sweater. Um, this other camera looks really funny. I'm going to have to work on it. I don't know that much about the exposure and all this stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have ever messed with it. But anyway, let's pray. There's so much to pray for. Let's pray for people that are out of electricity. Because it's hard. It's cold. It is way too cold. Um, Ricky, I think, is going to bring some uh, wood home because we do have a fireplace. So, just it never hurts to, you know, have a backup plan to things that you normally have. So, let's pray. Let's pray for a lot of people that do not have electricity tonight. And uh, pray that people get prepared because we might have a whole week of this. Um, that's not what I want, but it sure is cold. 
and there is a, a more of a demand. Uh, Why did it do that? Okay. I guess my mouse was over there and it said stop capturing, so I didn't do that. Okay. That's different. Okay, well, let's pray. And I'm just going to sit here in my chair um, because my hip is really hurting. God, we just come to you, God, and we just, um, we love you, God. And we know that you love us. We know that you have a perfect love for us. We know that we may not even ever comprehend the level of love that you have for us and what you have done for us while we've been here. God, you are the great Jehovah. You are the great I am. You are from everlasting to everlasting, and you will always be. We just, uh, we thank you that you are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector, that you are um, our healer, God, that you are mighty and magnificent and powerful, but yet you are kind and compassionate and loving and forgiving, God, that you keep your promises, God, that you are the one true God, Thank you for loving us, God. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just lift up the sick people that we know to you, God, that either have this disease or have something else, God. We just pray that you would give them strength, that you would heal their bodies, that you would just be with them and that they would feel your presence, God. We pray for their families, that you would also give them strength. We pray for all the many people that have been out of power today, God. We just pray that you would supply warmth for them. That is the most important. We can live without lights, but God, we can't live without warmth. When it's below freezing, and it's supposed to get down to five, I think, by morning, God, just please be with us. and. Supply what we need, God. Supply what other people need. Just be with them. Help them to be proactive in preparing, God. Um, just help them to be prepared. Help them to drop water that they're going to need to drink. And uh, make sure all the flashlights are working. Um, just those things that we can do. Just like I cooked that meat tonight rather for it to go bad I went ahead and cooked it so God we just pray we pray for all these God we just pray that you would supply their needs um, that you would keep them warm God we pray God for um, peace and unity and love in our country God that only comes through Jesus so we just pray for the lost, God. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We just pray for them to, to repent and to return to you. We pray for all the disasters which this storm has been disastrous, God. In all the vehicle accidents and and the death through the one in Fort Worth God but then also God many people were spared too and they are thankful God they are feeling thankful and blessed that they were spared but we just pray for all these families God we just pray for all these people that were involved in this accident God for the people that lost loved ones, we pray for peace, comfort, and strength. We just pray that they would feel your presence. For these others, God, that they would be thankful, that they would seek your face and their thankfulness. And that, God, you would continue to heal the ones that were injured. Either physically or emotionally, God, because it takes quite a toll on you. Makes you not want to drive for a while when you're in an accident. So, God, we pray that you would be with these, and we pray, God, that 
Also, you would be with uh, other people that have had family members pass away, God, that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, that they would feel your presence, God. Just help us to be more and more like you, Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thought I heard my son clap his hands. I'm hearing things. I'm in here in my office by myself and I keep hearing these things. I have music in my ears. That's why I have music raining down on my head is because I love to have music in my ears and that means too that um, this isn't going to be very loud so please turn up the, the sound on this other video that I'm putting on YouTube, not Facebook. Facebook should be fine. Well, I say that I've been listening to some things. Some of them were, la were loud and I turned down my volume when they're real loud. Okay, well let's turn to the scripture and let's talk about the perfect love of God because He loves us perfectly. And so, let's start with John 3.16. My Bible is cold. It's been in here in this office and it's cold. My hands are cold too. My hands are usually cold though. It's a little chilly in here. But I'm trying not to run the heater as much. I don't want to put Try not to run it as hot as I normally do. Okay, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So, um... God loved the world so much. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son. I have a friend that's contacting me. Turn off everything you can. Hmm, okay. I have lots of stuff on. I don't have time to do it right now. I will in a minute. I'll turn off everything I don't need. I'll turn off my printer. I won't turn my internet off because that is, uh, it goes to the TV. Okay, so God's love for us is perfect. And he sent his son to die for us because he loves us so much. He didn't want us to perish. He wanted to extend eternal life to us. So he gave his one and only son for that. Kind of like the story of Abraham. God tested Abraham's faith to see if he would sacrifice his son. And then at the last minute, God supplied a ram for that sacrifice. But Abraham really was going to do it because he had faith in God. And he knew that if he did what God told him to do, that it would be okay. But God didn't spare his son. He sent his son to die for us. To um, give us the offer of eternal life. So that is perfect love. That God loves us that much. So let's read Romans 5, 8. And uh, this may just be jumping all over the place because I really didn't look at it that closely to begin with. Romans 5, 8 says that, But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if, if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, 
much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered, entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, that all have sinned. So while we were sinners, Jesus sent, Jesus, sorry, Jesus came and died for us. Jesus didn't send Jesus. God sent Jesus. But God sent Jesus to do more than just die for us. God sent Jesus to be a living example of what God wants us to be to others. He wants us to be loving. He wants us to be compassionate. He wants us to be kind. He wants us to be patient. He wants us to be faithful. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what he wants from us. And that is who Jesus was. And that is that is the example that Jesus set for us. Plus, Jesus was forgiving, too. And we talked about forgiveness the other night. We must be forgiving also. So, 1 John... Well, wait a minute. I want to read uh, Romans 8.35. I want to read what else is in Romans who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so there's nothing that can separate us from God. There is nothing, nothing, no principality, no powers nor things present or things to come you know we are solid in that love with God he loves us he loves us unconditionally he loves us whether we're doing the right thing or whether we're doing the wrong thing he still loves us his love does not change it does not waver it is always the same Okay, so let me see what else here. Let's go back to John and read 15.13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. So that is Jesus saying that. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that is exactly what Jesus did for us. He is our friend. I got... <laughs> I'm sorry, I got music notes all over my head and all over the place, all over my face. This is kind of fun. I'll have to do something fun on the other one too. But not tonight. Okay, so Jesus loved us so much that he laid down his life for us. So let's read now. What is next? Jeremiah. Okay, let's go to the Old Testament, to Jeremiah. I didn't see this until I'd already started in the New Testament. That's usually the way it is. Jeremiah 31.3 says this. 
I think I'm going to start with one, though. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built. O virgin of Israel, thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall eat them as common things. So he's talking to Israel. But you have to remember that we are engrafted into the Israelis through Jesus. So we are part of this heritage. We are part of these chosen people so he's telling us he has had an everlasting love and out of loving kindness he drew us to him and I like this I will build thee and thou shalt be built I listened to a sermon yesterday uh, we didn't have church so I listened to elevation worship and his sermon was called Built Different because as the church we are built different because we are built to fulfill the plans and purposes of God. So um, that was a good sermon. I miss my church family, but it's good that there is a backup plan. And I'm glad I didn't have to get out on the ice. Well, it was really snow, but still, it was. it's cold. I don't like cold, and I can't keep my husband home. I hope he doesn't get pneumonia, because he can't stay home. He just has to be out in it, and I'm just like, he said, do you want to go to Walnut Springs today? And I go, uh, no, uh-uh, do not. Okay, so let's read Zephaniah, which is over here somewhere by Jeremiah and Ezekiel and all these guys over here. Daniel and I just don't know exactly where. But I know it's in here. So I have I read it one day uh, one Wednesday I was at youth and uh, it was before youth started and I just started reading it. And I told TJ I said I don't know what I just read. So, but I felt like God led me to read it. Okay, Zephaniah 3, 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Uh-oh, here comes my child. All right, sit down, sit down. Okay, so let's read Ephesians. Ephesians, Ephesians. I kind of wish I had a remote that reached from my office to the living room where I could change shows. But he gets bored with some shows. Okay, so Ephesians 3.19 says, And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. But I want to skip back up that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love 
may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with the fullness of God okay so we need to know the love of Christ you know again Jesus loved us enough to lay down his life he didn't have to you know he didn't have to he could have had angels come and save him but out of great obedience and love towards God he did and out of love for us to offer us eternal life he was willing to lay down his life okay so first John oh wait a minute Galatians Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Okay. That was uh, extra. Okay, I'm going to go put something on for my son, and I will be right back. And I'm so sorry, but I'm the only parent in the house, and that's what happens. When you're the only parent, you have to parent. So hang on. I'll be right back. I need my water anyway. I forgot it. Okay, so I got my cup, my love cup, and uh, if anybody knows me, they know I love coffee, but I don't drink coffee at night because I like sleep too, so I like both. Okay, so in 1 John, I'm sorry I had to go, but if any of your parents, that's just how it is. Okay, 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John 3, 1. That has a lot about love in it. Okay. So, 1 John 3, 1 says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not it knew him not beloved now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is ooh that's exciting that's talking about the rapture and every man hath seen this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure Whosoever, okay. 
so we are the sons now we now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like we are not in that spiritual body yet but we know that when he shall appear when Jesus shall appear we shall be like him and we will we will have those spiritual bodies for we shall see him as he is and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure so that is exciting oh well my friend Josie was here well hi my friend Josie and I guess she had to go somewhere I was fixing to say hi okay so let's read now first John 4 10 10 herein is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the prop propitiation that is a hard word for our sins beloved if God so loved us we ought also to love one another no man hath seen God at any time if we love one another God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected God's perfect love in us Wow God always sends me confirmation when I'm sharing what he wanted me to share okay so um, I'm going to continue reading that where did I stop and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the son of God God dwelleth in him and he in God and we have known and believed the love that God hath to us God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him herein is our love made perfect that we may be have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world there is no fear in love but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment he that feareth is not made perfect in love we love him because he first loved us if a man say I love God and hateth his brother he is a liar for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen how can he love God whom he hath not seen and this commandment have we from him that he who loveth God love his brother also so that is so good so good thank you God for confirmation thank you God okay all right well that's um if you can think of any scriptures then please put them in the comments any scriptures that you can think of about God's perfect love okay and uh, just put them in the scriptures if you have any other comments please put them in the scriptures um, you can think of something that you would like for us to do a Bible study on then put that in the scriptures and I'll look it up pretty much God just kind of lets me know in the morning what he wants me to do now, I would like to read I did put something on Facebook earlier I might have to do a little over to the side thing so I can find Facebook oh my all right I'm gonna have to cover myself up for a little while till I can get this open 
I'm sorry, I am not the best at all this. A friend of mine sent me a deal and said, turn, turn off things that you don't need on. And so, well, I don't see what I shared a while ago. I don't see it. I don't know why. I actually did it on this, but then I changed some things up too. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can find it over here. Uh, I shared my post. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let me read this to you. Because I shared the song tonight, How He Loves Us, by David Crowder Band. Really like that song. It's been really popular with our youth. So I'm going to read what I put about it. Because um, I think I covered some of what I said. So, I started thinking about what God wants me to talk about, and this song popped into my head. So, this song popped into my head this morning, and I just, with all my preparations today for the electricity to go off, I have not had a chance to do my share like I normally do. Um, How He Loves Us by David Crowder. There is something very special about it. We sing it at youth and have for years. I love the lyrics of this song in this lyric video too. I like the picture that's on this lyric video. Can we, can we really express how much God loves us? It is really hard to express. He does not give us what we deserve by being sinners and throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament people did not get what they deserved we still don't get what we deserve for our sins instead we get compassion love forgiveness peace and eternal life through Jesus we receive a Savior that never leaves us that will never leave us nor forsake us no matter what I have been meaning to share this message today, but the day has just gone so fast today. I have been preparing for no electricity since many have lost power today here in Texas. I do know that I have never in my lifetime that I can remember experienced this low of a degree of cold. I don't. I do not remember it ever being this cold I don't I don't recall that ever and we we've, we've had some cold fronts and we've had some below freezing but I don't ever remember it being in the single digits or even the negative single digits I mean that's that's a new thing for me so um I have not been out since yesterday when I tried to feed some birds some bread which got covered up by more snow. Well, I tried anyway. It was very cold. The snow is beautiful though. It reminds me of how Jesus washes our sins as white as snow. I opened the door this morning and the sun was so bright reflecting off the snow. There is no white that compares to snow. It is so bright and clean looking. Contemplate the perfect love of God, how he sent his son to die for us to show us this tremendous love, the love of Jesus that was willing to lay down his life for our sins, past, present, and future. God's love for us never wavers or changes, just like the love we have for our children. What really is hard to grasp is that God loves the ones that do not love Him or reject His Son. He loves them the same. He created them to love Him, but they have chosen not to. They have opportunity to, but only God knows whether they will or not. Only God knows all hearts and minds. Only He is the righteous judge of all unrighteousness. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. If we love people, we will tell them the truth. 
the truth is that God loves everyone the same but will punish sin Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin time is short the time is now to turn back to the one true God God wants none to perish John 3 16 and 17 call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today leave the old receive the new so there's just some things that I put at the bottom that are always the same and I'm fixing to change that up I have that in my phone so all I have to do is copy and paste it when I get done but anyway I just wanted to share that with you not that I think that I'm some great awesome writer but when I do these uh, song shares the Holy Spirit is speaking through me because I am just writing I'm just writing and listening and I'm really not having to think a lot about it so that's how I know it's the Holy Spirit okay well this is my quiet time notes today and I want to drink from my love cup love I might just start bringing a new cup a different cup every night okay I don't have a cup though that will match every lesson that I do or a t-shirt I have thankful and blessed on tonight Ugh, I have to stand up for that okay because this is like perfect but this is like not so okay I mean not that I'm perfect it's just um you can see my t-shirt I don't look like a floating head like I do over here on Facebook but it's okay okay so good morning God good morning child I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings child a new opportunity to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus a new beautiful new day um, child it is what you make of it and it is it is what you make of it well I spent today prepping today thank you God for another new day of mercies and blessings new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus thank you for another beautiful new day the snow is beautiful and reminds me of how Jesus washes our sins as white as snow there is no white like snow God in comparison to man's color of white stop stop it Seth stop it it is perfect I know all colors in heaven will be perfect like white is in the snow God help me to be nicer going forward I do not want to be hateful but loving help me to share nicer comments and I have been better but I do get kind of stinky sometimes about my comments so I'm trying to be better I'm just gonna share the gospel maybe somebody will get saved I see what is transpiring and it makes me angry though help me to be kinder please and he said child much is to come so be prepared for it know that my love is very deep for my children and they will be protected soon many things will take place though so be ready child all my children are in place for this time I chose each one of you for the fulfillment of my plans and purpose please continue to be obedient to me child please walk in the ways of Jesus sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus plans are in motion so stay close to Jesus keep looking up child for your redemption draws nigh keep moving forward with Jesus the government show will continue focus on me and I will supply all of your needs child I see all of this clearly God and trust only you Jesus and the Holy Spirit to help us get out of the mess I see our country in I know what has caused it and until many repent and accept Jesus as their Savior I see it getting worse all the time please send Jesus to get us soon he said child the time is soon 
Many need salvation, though. Many need to return to me through repentance. Pray for all of these, child. Jesus is coming soon, so be ready, child. Excuse me. I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today again. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Keep my husband safe today, God. I can't keep him home. He's just out in the snow and the ice, and uh, I don't know. I love you too, child. Now go be obedient to me. Get stuff done today, child. The reunion is very soon. And it will be so awesome seeing your faces here again. And I said, Maranatha, God. So my friend Josie was here a while ago, but she is gone. Um, I guess she had to go do something. So how about I offer you an invitation to heaven. <laughs> it's really weird when you have two cameras going. It's like your eyes are back and forth. Um, I tried to cover one up, but I thought, well, that's just weird. I don't know if that's working right or not. Okay, so this is an invitation to God's heaven because it is God's heaven. It is not mine. It does not belong to me. It belongs to God. And God wants none to perish. We read John 3, 16 first. God wants none to perish. He created heaven for his children, and he wants none of them to perish. He wants all of his created to be there. Okay, so God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. Stop. Stop it. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father, but by me. John 14, 6. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. Okay, what? Well, okay. One of my cameras is doing weird things. Okay, I apologize for what you hear in the background. That is my son. But I'm going to try to get through this. If you can ignore it like I do all the time. He's fine. He just wants me to go change the TV station and but I want to do this salvation prayer and um, hey Seth go back in the living room and I'll come change it in a minute go go all right well he's not minding if I had the water bottle he would be okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this prayer because I need to get off of here in a little bit anyway in um, fix his dinner so dear Lord Jesus I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for forgiveness I believe you died on the cross for my sins you were buried for three days and you rose on the third day. I 
also believe that you are God's one and only son? I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's book of life. Now if you want to draw closer to God, if you want a closer relationship with God, then I suggest you read his word. And I would start in Matthew. Learn more about Jesus. Learn more about the Savior you just invited into your heart. And uh, pray for God to find you a church so that you can be with other believers, you can get baptized, and um, also pray every day. Pray to God every day. Hi, my friend Josie. And um, find some praise music too. I'm listening to praise music. I listen to music every time I do this. I get up in the morning listening to praise music and it just makes me happy and it just puts me in a really good mood. Okay. Well, I am going to do the blessing, and I'm going to do a prayer, and I'm going to get off of here, because again, I'm the only adult here. Okay, so Numbers 6, 24 through 26 six says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So that is number 6, 24 through 26. And that is a blessing from God. Alright, well I am going to pray and get off of here so I can go change the station on the TV. And so I can uh, go fix Seth something to eat. He's probably hungry. I eat early. I eat before I come in here. And then I feed him later. He does everything later than me. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you. We thank you for this love, this perfect love that you have for us just overwhelms us God we are so thankful and we are so blessed to have you as our God and have Jesus as our Savior and have the Holy Spirit to help guide us and direct us every day and all the other things too God we just lift up the sick people to you we just lift them up to you and pray that you would heal their bodies God that you would just give them strength to fight this disease or whatever whatever ailment that they have, God. That you would be with their families. That you would give them strength. I pray for my friend Josie and her family, God. I just lift her up to you and just pray that you would help her to feel better. That you would um, help her to um, 
be able to keep electricity and water and everything going, God. We just pray for um, all the people that are out of electricity, God. We just pray that you would keep them warm. And uh, we pray for um, Melissa and her baby, God. We just pray that you would give them more and more strength every day that uh, this baby would just get to where she could just do all the things that she needs to do even though she is so tiny. God, we just pray. We pray for... Um, we pray for this storm, God, that just really none of us in this state are used to. We don't live in Minnesota, so we're not used to this. We don't live in New York. We're not used to a lot of snow and and cold. So God, just help us. Just help to meet our needs that we have. And we just pray, God, that uh, you would just remind us of your love, God, and that you would just, that we would know that we have your protection, God, that you are going to protect your children through all things. And God, just help us to be more in your presence. Help us to testify to the good things that you've done in our lives. And help us to encourage others. Give us the boldness to share your truths and the gospel to others. We just pray for love, peace, and compassion throughout our country and all over the world. Just a brotherly and sisterly love, God, that only comes through Jesus. We just pray for that. We pray for an understanding for each other and an agree to disagree attitude, God. We just pray. We just pray for more unity. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just a minute, Seth. Um, no, they they haven't yet. I've been I've been waiting all day. And I've like drawn up water and been trying to be prepared for it, but they they haven't yet. But you know they built us a new power plant too, so I don't know whether that has something to do with it or whether we have TXU and it's you know a different electric company. I don't you know, I don't know I don't know, but we haven't. Like, I've been expecting it all day, and we have not. But tomorrow may be our day. But I'm ready. I'm making my coffee tonight, and I'm putting it in my thermos so it will be hot in the morning. So if I don't have electricity in the morning, I'll have coffee. Got to have coffee. I'm drinking water right now, but I was talking about God's perfect love. So I needed, uh, I needed my love cup. So, have y'all, do y'all have electricity? I know in Walnut, a lot of people didn't. Did y'all get it back? been waiting for it to go off not that I want it to go off but I've been really surprised that it has not did y'all lose electricity Josie I know a lot of people in Walnut Springs did oh you're in Glen Rose oh the lights are out in Glen Rose wires well, usually goes out for you know thunder <laughs> So I'm really surprised that it hasn't, but it hasn't. I even had some chicken in the freezer and I go, well, I'm going to go ahead and cook that in case the electricity goes out. I don't want it to ruin. So I cooked some chicken today, which is about all I have for frozen meat. Oh, thank you. I think my husband bought this for me, not, not this year for Valentine's Day, but for another one. I like coffee cups. I have a 
bunch of them. This is one of mine. I thought it went with the lesson. But I'm drinking water. <laughs> drinking water. I don't want to pour it on my computer. I'm drinking water. Walnut doesn't have any electricity. No. And so some places here in Glen Rose doesn't either. We may not for long. I'd rather be without it during the day when it's not quite so cold than at night when there's no sun. I guess walnut hasn't had electricity all day. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of here. If you want to call me, you can, but I'm going to get off of here so I can get Seth. He just keeps froggy noising. He won't go away until I go and change his show or feed him dinner. So God bless you all and uh, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow and praying that the electricity will hold out. That people that have lost electricity that it will come back on. So I love you all and good night.